Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another video. And dear, oh dear, you guys probably know that there is an open beta now live for Delta Force Hot Cops. And if you are new to the game, like if you are actually playing the game for the first time in this open beta, then it's fine. But before this open beta, there was a closed PC alpha test where people should have actually requested to gain access to play. And so we did as content creators and they gave us access and I started playing the game like two months ago. And from what I'm seeing so far, and you guys probably know this as well, literally there has been zero percent of progress in these period of time between the alpha test and the open beta. Literally zero percent progress. These guys did not change anything. There was a lot of videos stating a lot of things that were wrong with Delta Force Hot Cops close alpha test. There were so many things that were literally just wrong with the PC alpha test and with the whole game. And content creators, just like myself, we made videos. That's our, that's like our baseline duty to make videos, communicate with the studios working on the games that we create content for. And we should actually let them know that there are things that we don't want to see in the game. And we are kind of representative of the communities. So they actually didn't listen to anything. Like there is an open beta right now that is exactly the same with the closed alpha test. Now what's happening right now with Delta Force is actually disappointing a lot of content creators, but that's not, that's not gonna be me. I'm not really one because the first two to three hours that I played two months ago in the PC alpha test, I was already disappointed. Like being a battlefield killer is really a big burden, even on like a game like Call of Duty. Like even saying that for a Call of Duty title is gonna be a huge burden to carry, let alone for like a game like Delta Force with a small studio behind it. And I do believe they just couldn't deliver. And that was obvious for me in, in my first two hours of playtime with Delta Force Hot Cops. And honestly, the hype around this game was so huge. I actually made a video about the game, like after like five hours of playing, I made my first impression video and that video got great views. But the like to dislike ratio was so low compared to my channel average that the whole channel was nuked. My other videos about Battlefield could not get views for a straight month. And that was because people didn't really like my first impression. And now we are seeing content creators that were literally extremely hyped for Delta Force. And they were saying that this game is better than Battlefield 2042 in every aspect possible. That is something that Enders was saying. And I believe he still enjoys playing this game. Delta Force has some problems. And th those problems are like serious problems. They're basically core gameplay and the whole ideology behind behind making a game like this. Now, what we are seeing actually right now is that the hype is starting to backfire and people are not actually happy with the beta anymore because there was no progress. And for me, I didn't really invest a lot of time in Delta Force. And I do believe that was rightfully so because I didn't think this game was even fun to begin with. I'm sorry if you don't like what I'm saying, but it is what it is, guys. In my opinion, I do also have friends playing this game uh, and they we were all thinking exactly the same. This game was not as fun as we thought it could be. And that, and that actually made me rethink investing my time into creating videos for this game. And now that I'm creating this video, it's because I have to tell you guys that I actually knew the hype was so big and the burden was so heavy that these guys just couldn't deliver. Delta Force might be still uh, like some game that people want to play, especially for those who are playing for the first time in the open beta. Maybe the game looks amazing, but the more you play, and especially if you are a Battlefield player and you're trying Delta Force out, Delta Force just looks like a ridiculous hero shooter in my opinion. Like for using a smoke grenade, you literally need to choose a different operator. That is that is even worse than games that are a hero shooter by nature. Like Rainbow Six Siege, even Rainbow Six Siege, which is literally a hero shooter, is not that bad into the game. Like you don't need to switch operators to have like a smoke grenade. That is just ridiculous. Like having a wall hack because you are playing a specific operator is ridiculous. And in my opinion, Delta Force right now with the current state that it's in has literally no chance even against the worst battlefield, which is Battlefield 24. 42. It literally has no chance. Maybe being free to play is something that can buy some time for developers to make some changes. But believe me, this game 
is nowhere near becoming a Battlefield competitor, let alone becoming a Battlefield killer. That is literally just impossible for Delta Force. Even these hyped content creators that were literally blown away by whatever Delta Force was offering in the alpha test, even these guys made some videos about the issues that were a part of the PC alpha test for Delta Force. These guys actually made videos like that. The people behind Delta Force did nothing. I mean, let's be honest, they literally did nothing. Now, this video might actually be another nuke dropping down on my channel because the last video I made talking negatively about Delta Force got so many dislikes that literally just nuked my whole channel. But as a content creator of Battlefield and as a person who has more than average experience with shooting games and literally all types of shooting games, I have to tell you that Delta Force has a long road ahead of itself to become a Battlefield competitor. There's just a lot to be done and I believe they don't have resources, they don't have manpower, they don't even have the mindset, the, the right mindset they need to become a Battlefield competitor because these guys have already made a hero shooter. Now, some people call Battlefield 2042 a hero shooter simply just because we have specialists, right? But like it or not, Delta Force is like 10 times worse than Battlefield 2042 when it comes to being a hero shooter. In my opinion, developers are actually trying to compensate for their lack of ideas in the weapon customization part. Like, there is so much going Going on with the weapon customization like I do get it weapon customization is great having it in a game is, is actually great but having it so much complicated you guys can actually focus on other aspects of this game that do actually matter why do I need like 25 stocks on my weapon why do I need it why do I have to just try to choose one between that why do I need 10 different types of suppressors instead you can actually make some balances in the operator department the whole operator thing if they actually want to become a battlefield competitor is it's just BS. They have to change it. But in my opinion, it's so deep in the core game that they can't actually do anything about it at this point. They can't. They have to basically rebuild the entire game because the entire game is built around these operators. They just can't change it. And all in all, this open beta showed me one simple thing, and that is these guys are not responsible for their action. And getting to a conclusion like that, since the open beta, that's a, that's a danger sign. That's an alarm. Because they could at least use some of the content creator's advices on this game and make it even better for the open beta. Now everyone is actually able to play this game. And people can decide for themselves. Knowing with every cell in my body that 2042 is literally the worst Battlefield experience ever, 2042 is still a better experience in almost any aspect compared to Delta Force Hot Cops. And I actually hate to be a fanboy. And if you've been around the channel for quite some time, you guys know that I'm not a fanboy at all. But returning from Delta Force to Battlefield, it just feels like a better place to be. It just feels like somewhere I belong. Delta Force is like, it looks like an alien, especially with the operator thing. These operators have like ridiculous big roots in the game. You can't make a game that is called a Battlefield killer or at least a Battlefield competitor and make it a literal hero shooter. You just can't do that. And if you do that, I don't think you're you're getting anywhere near Battlefield. You might make your own community, like gather people. The game is free to play. It definitely has a chance, especially for those who don't want to pay for a game. This game is going to be uh, an easy target to uh, have fun with, but that's not going to take long for people to realize that this game is lacking in a lot of departments. And if these guys behind the scenes don't take responsibility, it will remain the same and it won't get far. Mark my words, if these guys don't want to start thinking about their game, don't want to start taking advices of content creators and of the community about their game, uh, this this Delta Force Hot Cops is going to be doomed regardless of being a free-to-play game. It's not going to take long for people to realize that the game is not worth playing. If you are a Battlefield player, and you have experience with Delta Force, I'll be really glad to know what you think about this game because I have my friends playing Battlefield and they've actually played Delta Force as well. They almost think exactly the same, just as me. Like the mindset is obvious. It's like, it's like we see something that a lot of content creators are actually missing for some reason. I don't know. It's because they are trying to uh, enjoy the trend. There's like a trend going on for Delta Force and they want to like hype everyone about it. And the more hype you can gather, the more views you can get. And, like criticism videos like this one get a lot of dislikes and YouTube starts to dump you. Things like that, okay? But for, for some reason, it's like content creators of Battlefield don't actually see what's going on with Delta Force and they don't want to see it. 
it's like they don't really want to see it. They just want to use the trend. And I'm not pointing finger at anyone. I'm just saying what I, I am seeing. If you are a Battlefield player and you have experience with Delta Force, do make sure you comment down below. Let me know what you think about Delta Force and let me know what you think about Battlefield. And let me know if Delta Force can actually become a Battlefield competitor, a Battlefield killer. Can it actually steal players from the Battlefield community? All those kind of stuff. I just want to know what my community thinks about this game. I want to know if I'm wrong. I want to know if there are people actually thinking the way I think. I just want to know the community and what you guys actually think about Delta Force. So do make sure to do that. And thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, stay cool.